Hood, good people out there in YouTube land. It's your boy Trail checking in with another fabulous video over here at the Shuniverse, man. Listen, I got a, another Air Max I'm about to give y'all. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know what it is. I'm giving y'all something different. We don't do just Jordans, hype shoes. We do shoes we love. I seen this shoe on the Nike website. Had to have it, but I paused on it and I was like, eh. So somebody else I know, they ordered it. Excuse me. Allergies feel like they acting up. Weather changing up. But they ordered it in their size. It's a premium Air Max. They normally like 120, I believe. But this one's 140. So it's a nice little hefty difference. Difference, 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 difference. Whatever, it don't matter. I'm tripping. I got the twisted on my words. But let me get this camera right. It don't look like it's right. There we go. Hope that's right for y'all. Let me angle that up just a hair. Boom. Yeah, you see the Michigan hoodie? It is hoodie season. So we'll be having on these a lot. I love hoodie. I love hoodie season. Man, how about y'all? Y'all love hoodie season? Everybody put a thumbs up in the comments. If you love hoodie season, man, just do that for me. But we're going to get into it. Look, boom. Nike Air Max Premium Box. That black with that shimmer, that shimmer stripe. Ooh, what do you look at that? Or black and gray, whatever you want to call it. Got the shimmer. It's the little gloss stripe. That's nice, man. So we got the Nike Air Max 90 Premium Hemp Summit White. Summit White. I'm sorry. Summit White Sand Draft. Ooh, 140. Man, this thing is crazy. Listen, most of the time they come laced up. So that's how you know this shoe is premium. I'm about to order mine. I'm actually gonna order them. When I get done with this video, I'm ordering mine. So yeah, that's what it is. When I get done with this video, I'm ordering my shoes. Um, and they ain't even come laced up. This is a straight fall shoe to me. The materials is different, but the shoe is a fall shoe. We don't need the box, so we gonna set that there. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, look at this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, let's get y'all both of them. Look, woo, the mug is nasty. It didn't come with extra laces or nothing. It didn't, but it's, let's, what shoe do I want to play with? Let's, 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 I don't, I don't know, man. Let's, let's play with this. Let's gonna put this one in the box. Boom, perfect. In the box, listen, it's got the Air Max 90, man, with the little coffee sand color. Ain't too many flaws on there's a little dirt on there, but you know how Nike do with the flaws on shoes, uh, the air bubble. Yes, look at that, clear. Super clear in there with the little Summit White sand black. It's got the different materials. It's got like the canvas on the toe, if you can see. It looks kind of canvas. It's got the suede, the short hair suede, a little bit of the long hair suede. It's got the plastic and it's got the leather all on the shoe right there. Hey, the canvas suede leather, that combo is crazy when it's on the shoe and it's nice. And it's got the leather on the uh, bottom of the laces right there on top of your foot. Got the regular leather. So look, it's got everything. It comes with like, creamish summit white laces i'm not gonna say cream it says summit white so that's what the lace look like didn't come laced up like i said which is different from nike with the air max 90s normally they lace them up throw them in a the box and don't care because they mass produce but i guess when they're a premium shoe they're not really mass produced as much uh it's even got the oh man look hold on let's get into this like the materials on this shoe is crazy i know this video might be a little long but look listen it's a size eight and a half, man. So, look at this one. It's got the Air Max on there. That's totally different. Don't got a Nike swoosh. It's got the line across the top, canvas, with this leather that's trimming there. And then it's got this fleece tongue on the back, and everything is super, super soft. Man, listen, this is a, this is a nice Air Max. For anybody I, I dig it a lot nice premium materials man like when i first seen it i was kind of like oh that's dope that's fire 
And I was kind of, eh, you know what I mean? I kind of like fall back when I see shoes because I get distracted by so many other shoes, but I always try to go back to them later and cop them. At least I do. Oh, let's get this camera right so you can see the shoe. Keep the shoe in the frame. But you know, uh, also today, speaking of fall colors, that um, I, I'm gonna call it a Mocha 14. It's not a winterized 14. I'm gonna call it a Mocha 14. It did drop today. I didn't cop. Uh, I might go back and reach back at it. I will not be paying their at resale price though. So I'll probably uh, do something on trade block, which is always a plus. Cause I actually liked it in the beginning, but I said I wasn't gonna get the 14 and that Yeezy. I didn't hit on the Yeezy, which I I don't never hit on the ones I really want. I hit on the ones I don't want, <clears throat> but I'm just like, eh, I want them, but I don't want them. So I hit on those. But when it comes to the ones I really want, I don't hit this, uh, this what is it called, a wash orange or whatever. I don't know that Yeezy just came out. So today on Saturday. That's this video of. This video is the release date, day for that Yeezy and that Jordan 14 Mocha. Man, that Mocha one is crazy. You can style that up, style that down. I see a bunch of different ways to do it. I know people are gonna butcher that shoe. That's my, that's my opinion. When people, when I see people getting these shoes and they butcher them, and when I say butcher, they will put them on with, they will put the those Mocha 14s on with a michigan sweatshirt you're like there's no brown in that sweatshirt and they'll have on green pants like just trying to i don't know what people process of matching colors is i come up in an era where we matched now they don't match and it's kind of hard for me to dress sometimes because i still don't want to be too matchy matchy i hate that like i hate a whole outfit if you want to call it i hate that i like basic stuff where you're this may match this you might have a hat that matches the shoes and the shirt might have that color of the shoe but it's not too much and you can always throw on a black jean or a blue jean or a light blue jean or in this case now that i wear joggers i wear a jogger or a fatigue pants or something like that <clears throat> excuse me throat a little dry but needless to say man that's just how it is I watch people, this era, they, they dress off the mannequin. And I'm not going to say this era. That people have been doing that, but now more so. People don't have an opinion of their of their own. They do what they see other people do. So, like, this shoe, crazy as it is to me, somebody else may not like this shoe because it's not popular. Now, if you put a Travis Scott stamp on here or a cause or a off-white tag, shoe would sell out it wouldn't have sat but since it doesn't have any of that it'll probably sit 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 outlet bound and get it for 50 60 bucks and then i got a crazy shoe that nobody wanted but then they'll see it on feet and say dang they were crazy when them come out they've been out you passed over you don't remember them? like that's just how i am but needless to say that's what it is so hopefully we'll be bringing that uh winterized mocha 14 to the channel soon like in the next week or so. Uh, but for now, we're talking about this Air Max 90 Premium with the Summit White in the Sand Blast or whatever it was, colorway. Um, in my opinion, this shoe is a nine. I'm gonna say nine, a strong nine and a half, 9.5. Man, almost a 10. I'm giving this shoe a 10, I scratched that. This is a 10 in my opinion, this shoe is a 10. On a scale of one to 10, this is a 10. A lot of shoes are 10s. This is a 10 because it's fire. It's nothing too much. It's not a, it's not, the quality is crazy. The materials is crazy. The color's nice, all that. So this shoe gets a 10. This is a 10. This is what a 10 Air Max look like. It's not too much. It's not too much, man. So with that being said, it's your boy Trev checking out with you. Not gonna keep you too long. Make sure you check out them. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I kicked the camera on the tripod. Make sure you check out those Smell Good Corner videos. I didn't post one last week. I gotta post one this week. I will be posting one. It will be up tomorrow, cause tomorrow's Sunday. I normally post them on Sunday, so it will be up tomorrow double upload two days like i normally do then we'll come back with y'all with another video on another shoe 
we got to keep it we got to keep it funky man we got to keep it funky still getting those um still gonna do those try on hauls for clothing and we'll be doing the own foot of some shoes i'm going to be doing the own foot of that yeezy quantum that's gonna be my first own foot i will show a little glimpse of it matter of fact i might do a little bit of it uh no, i'm not gonna put it up in this video <clears throat> but uh that's pretty much it man thank y'all for stopping in make sure y'all please share the video please and i appreciate all the new subs all the old ones everybody's been here for day one man i appreciate y'all love y'all man thank y'all for sticking by until the end man y'all have a good night and remember rock what you want because i'm gonna do the same and this is a prime example of rock what you want right here man and i'm out <laughs>